Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com and this is your news shot, Ars Technica, over in the UK. Great piece, Moon Express announces plan to build lunar outpost in 2020. So now you've got private companies. First we had um, Jeff Bezos and uh, Elon Musk competing to um, have the first reusable uh vehicle to get up to space and get back and of course that has spawned a whole new space tourism industry and has really paved the way for what will be eventually the replacement of the space shuttle albeit a private space shuttle and now after several years of secrecy it's it says a company called moon express revealed the scope of its ambitions on wednesday and they're comparable the private the private held company, the privately held company, released plans for a single modular spacecraft that can be combined to form successfully larger and more capable vehicles. Ultimately, the company plans to establish a lunar outpost in 2020 and set up commercial operations on the moon. You know, it's always been said that the first country that mines the moon will basically rule the world for a, for a time to come. Interesting how it's a private company now that's doing it. And perhaps uh, most intriguingly, it says, Moon Express says it's self-funded to be, begin bringing kilograms of lunar rock back to Earth within three years. They say, we absolutely intend to make these samples available globally for scientific research and make them available to collectors as well. Wouldn't that be interesting, folks, to have a private corporation go up to the moon, grab a sample of the rocks, and then conveniently go and get a sample of the rocks that were allegedly brought back from the lunar landings. And let's compare the two and see if they match. See if they're the same. See if they come from the same place. If they're made of the same things. Because I'm of the opinion that you're going to find that they're not the same. So will it take a private corporation to actually go and make this happen? Whether it be due to the tremendously bureaucratic processes that um, government is really kind of locked into or is it because profit because greed because money is what rules the world and now with this technology becoming achievable and affordable to a lot of these uh, corporations you know, like your Elon Musk's uh, and Tesla or your Jeff Bezos and Amazon. I mean, now I can just see a huge space race going on. Only this time, it's not countries competing against one another. It's companies in, uh, competing against one another. And wouldn't it be interesting as time goes on and we see things like um, Hartford, Connecticut is now folding their... Uh, um, their bonds have just been downgraded to junk status, you know, their credit rating. Illinois is getting ready to be downgraded to junk status. What's next? I mean, it's going to go from cities, municipalities to states, and then the federal government, right? Who's going to rule the world after that? Well, it appears to be corporations, a la Demolition Man, you know, where you had the restaurant wars, and then Taco Bell was the one that survived, and that was the only restaurant left on on earth when uh, in the future so I mean this is just a, an amazing thing we're starting to see unfold and could we be seeing the death of governments per se and the rise of corporations taking the place of government and starting to rule the planet outwardly I think they already do already with lobbying and other special interest functions but now there's no place to hide. And I think that with this, we'll quickly launch or start a new era where private corporations outwardly rule the world. It remains to be seen, but one thing's for sure, the first person or the first corporation to get to the moon and bring back those rocks are going to tell a very, very interesting story not just about the present and our future, but also about the past.
I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's new shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day.